Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at question 2 of the EDI sample assessment for functional skills maths at level 2. So first of all, the question says price of the tickets and the travel costs are to be split equally amongst the students and teachers. How much will each person pay? So first of all, we've got to break that down. So we've, we've got the price of the tickets, which we know from the previous question. Okay, so we can, we can pop that in there. So the price of the tickets was three forty three forty one pound sixty seven. And the costs are to be split equally amongst the students and teachers. Now, the students and teachers in total. Now it says it's a 54 seater luxury coach, but that doesn't actually tell you how many students and teachers there are, so just be careful of that. And if we remember, there were 45 students and 5 teachers, so that's 50 people in total. So split amongst 50 people. Okay, so we know those two figures straight away. So the price of the tickets and the travel costs are to be split equally amongst the students and teachers. So the only thing we need now is the actual travel cost. Okay, so Sam's coaches uh, is only six hundred and thirty pounds plus VAT at seventeen point five percent. Okay. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to work out that VAT amount at seventeen point five percent of the six hundred and thirty. So what we want is seventeen. 0.5% of 630. That's the calculation that we're actually doing. So we're going to get our calculator out and following my method again of doing percentages of numbers. First step, I always divide the amount by 100 which always gives you 1%. Okay, so 1% is, there we go, 6.3, which in, in monetary terms is, means £6.30, and we can put that in just to be clear. So if we've got what 1% is, then to find 17.5%, we just times that 1% by 175 because we've got one of them, but we don't want one of them, we want 17.5, lots of them. And lots of, in maths, means times. So that there, insert that again, is 17.5%. That's our calculation for that. And if we just put the value in, that's £110.25. So if we've just worked out 17.5% of 630, but the price of the coach is... £630 plus the VAT amount, the second part of that calculation, which will give us the price plus the VAT, will be the £630, which is the price, plus the VAT, which we've just worked out to be £110.25, equals and insert. And that there is our price plus the VAT amount. So that's the actual travel cost. Yeah? And I can even put that in there just to use the word in that they've used in the question. But as long as it's clear, you'll get your marks. So now I'll just get rid of the calculator. Now we have the price of the tickets, we know that. The travel cost, we know that. And to be split amongst the students and teachers equally, we know that amount as well. How much will each person pay? So, first of all, the price of the tickets and the travel cost. So the travel plus the tickets. That's the first part of our calculation, so we can get the calculator out there. So the ticket price was... three four one. And 67. I'm going to add that to the travel cost, which was 740 pounds 25 
equals and insert that. So that's the travel plus the ticket price. There we go. And finally, the travel plus the ticket price are to be split equally amongst the students and teachers. And there are 50 of them in total. So what we're going to do, splitting a number up by another number in maths means divide. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide the 1,081.92 by the 50 people that are going on the trip, which makes it £21.60. And let's if we just round that to the nearest pence, if we want to the nearest pence, which is this figure here, we look to the next one. If it's five or above, we round it up, and it is. So we're going to round that one up to 64. So that will be finally the price per person to go on the trip. £21 and 64 pence.